Hey there, I wanted to go over my trophic level simulation activity with you. Um, I could explain it a little bit better in video than I can in the written lab write-up. So hopefully if you have any questions, this clarifies it. So this is an activity that I do prior to introducing trophic pyramids. So students already know the basics of what does consumer mean, what does producer mean, and what is a basic food chain, but I haven't gone into a deep dive of vocabulary and trophic pyramids and transfer of energy yet. Okay, so in this activity, you start off by printing out these cards. There is a grass card, rabbit card, and coyote card, and you wanna have enough for every student in the class to get one. And I also start out by giving roughly the same number of cards out um, of each organism. So for example, if you have a class of 30, you're gonna want about 10 grass cards, 10 rabbit cards, 10 coyote cards, okay? So when you're ready to start the activity, you're gonna shuffle up the cards, give them to students and tell them you can look at your card, but don't show your neighbors. You do not want to announce what card you have. Okay. Then you need to explain the rules to the students before you start. So you're going to tell students, Hey, in just a minute, we're going to stand up and everyone's going to find a partner. When you have a partner, you're going to show each other a card and then see what happens. So for example, if I'm grass, and I pair up with someone and they show me a rabbit card, well, what do you think is gonna happen? The rabbit eats grass. So I'm out and I go sit down at my desk, okay? If the rabbit person meets up with a coyote, coyote eats the rabbit, the rabbit's out for the next round, okay? If grass and coyote meet up, nothing happens. They don't, neither, uh, coyote doesn't get to eat that round. And if you pair up with your own kind, then it's kind of like dodgeball where people get to come back into the game. So they would reproduce. So if two rabbits pair up, then in the next round, you, someone that's been out, you can let them come back in and give them a new card, okay? And then the last rule is that the heterotrophs have to eat every other round. So say a coyote and a grass pair up one round, well, nothing happens, he didn't get to eat. And then say maybe in the next round, the coyote finds another coyote, well, again, he didn't get to eat, so he's out, he's starved. Okay, so you have to eat every other round. So those are the main rules. So you tell students, stand up, go find a partner. If you have an odd number of students, then just as a teacher, join in that round. So everyone has a partner. Um, so once the first round is over, I tell everyone, go back to your seats, put your heads down. And when I um, call something that applies to you, raise your hand. So everyone puts their head down and then I say, hey, if you are a grass and you survived this round, put your hand up and I count and I tally. If you are a rabbit and you survived, put your hand up and I count tally and then same thing for, for coyotes. Also, I ask if you were a grass and you met up with another grass, so you reproduced, raise your hand and I do the same thing for all three. So that way I know, hey, um, these people can come back into the game, okay? Students have a lab worksheet that looks like this and they will write down when I'm done with the tally, how many survived in round one, okay? Then if they're still alive, they get to stand up and then go find a new partner. We do round two, same thing, go back to your desk after, let's take a tally and we do that five times. So there's five generations, okay? What's gonna happen is that students are gonna see, because remember at the beginning I told you to give 10, 10, and 10, or roughly the same number, um, that the populations aren't sustainable because we have too many top level consumers and not enough producers, there's not enough food, and the population's going to end up collapsing. So as students see the population and graph it, they're gonna be like, hey, this isn't working, and we have a class discussion at the end of the five rounds on why, why did it not work? Um, and if we were gonna do another five rounds, if you have class time, I suggest you doing that. What could we do to make it better? Um, so if you have time to do another five rounds, then I would give out mostly grass cards, a handful of rabbits, and maybe two coyote cards. Do another five rounds, see what happens, and discuss why. So it is a great segue into trophic pyramids, and you can talk about pyramid of numbers versus um, energy and then biomass. And it's just a great activity students love. It's kind of hard to find hands-on fun activities for ecology, um, so it's a fun one. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I will link to this in the description with the lab worksheet and a PowerPoint that comes with it. Hope you enjoy.